Okay, so we're in the final stages of this painting right here. And while I was away, I enhanced with colored pencil the the upper eyelid in this region to kind of fade from this dark shadow here up into the lit portion of the lid. She's wearing eyeshadow, which kind of reflects silvery gray. So what I added on top of this color paint here is white colored pencil. And what that does is it adds kind of a little bit of a kind of a sheen to this section here. Gives it more of kind of a, a glossy metallic kind of look. So that's what I added there and also down in here. Um, along the inside of the eye, there's a shadow from the lid onto the iris. So I added a little bit of shading in here, which you can see along there. Also on this side. And I also did a little bit around this, the iris, just to kind of create that that dark ring that all eyes have. So what I'm going to do lastly is darken the pupil, and I'm just going to use uh, a circle maker. Actually, I used a circle maker for that main part of the eye too, and that's recommended not to draw freehand circles. They're nearly impossible. So I'll go ahead and do this here. So I find the right size, which was let's see. I think it was this one here is what I did. So I just took the took the Sharpie, kind of laid it on in the inside in here like this. Okay. So now what I can do is just pull the circle maker away and just then complete this. So I'll just fill in. And this should give you that contrast. Make the eye look really nice and dark. I might leave that little reflection. I don't know why, but I might. Let's see. Yeah, why not? Looks good. Okay. So now all that remains would be the lashes. The critical lashes. So what we'll do with the lashes, and I'll go ahead and demonstrate for you. What I have is a practice sheet here. And I've got just ink, the India Black India ink. In this container and so I just use this type of brush as a calligraphy pen it's got a nice uh, pointed tip so I can do really thin uh, small hairs so what I'm gonna do I just dip it in here I kind of fill up this and I just do quick strokes like this that's kind of the shape of an eyelash if you ever have one plucked out of your face kind of like this okay so that's what I'm gonna do all along the edge here and here and I'll, I'll thicken it up in this region where she's got extra mascara. Okay. Oh. And the quicker the strokes with this, the better. You don't want to sit there and go back and forth. This pen's kind of being dysfunctional. Hold on. Let's see here. Let's try that again. I don't know if you guys can see from the view but I've already kind of pre-drawn these with some regular pencil one thing you want to avoid and I've done this before is to drag your hand right through the ink so that's the kind of effect we want here Trying to keep going And these hairs will cross in different places. They're all kind of growing out from just the edge of this pink. So kind of like this. Some kind of go from here and they cross over. Some are thicker, some are thinner. Here we go. See a few more, maybe right here. Let's 
Some of these in the very front are super thin, if I can get that effect. Okay, so it looks good for the lower section. Now I'm going to work across the top. It's being stubborn here. Let's try this again. What you can see here, this kind of grows like this, so they kind of stick down into the white part of the eye just a little bit. It's really thick, but we'll have to make do. Once again, I'm still making as quick strokes as I can. Oops, overdid that one. Oh well. Pull some of that out. Bring some into there. I think it really kind of clustered through here, kind of grouped together. So I think I'm going to pull some of this ink down. Kind of botched it. Pull some over into here. Mm -hmm. Well, it's time for me to go ahead and call it good. Let you get the idea on how to kind of wrap this thing up. So, we'll see ya.